everybody! It is uh, some Mario Party Day on the Weekend Gamers, and the version we're doing today was chosen by Nman64, who I happen to have with me for this episode. Hey, oh, and what do you know? And Daniel and Luke are here. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hey, I just got back from Mobile. Nice. Now, Dominic uh, is here in the call as well, but he's muted because uh, he's... Uh, Playing Paper Mario Bowser at your door, the uh, remake version. A perfectly valid excuse, that is a fantastic game. Yeah. And I've actually been having a lot of fun with that myself. And I was actually saying to Daniel uh, when I was uh, doing this game, when me, uh, Daniel, Dominic, and Nick were playing this last night, I'm in, uh, I'm deep into chapter six right now. In terms of the board that we are going to be playing, uh, that was also chosen by N Man, I do believe. Yep, this one right here. So, let's get into our game. Ahaha, give me that. Hard to believe that though that next year, 2025, will be the 30th anniversary of Toy Story 1's release. Yeah, it, it's crazy that it's literally about to be that long since it uh, first came out. Yeah, and that was actually, I believe, the very first uh, movie by the uh, Pixar team. King has their 30th anniversary this this year as well, and there's also another uh, live action uh, remake that's coming out near the end of this year that I think is supposed to be a prequel. But and and then I believe you and I were talking about that before, how that one's coming out around the same time as Sonic 3, and I think we pretty much agreed that Sonic 3 would be the uh, better one of the two to see. Although, well, Inside Out 2 uh, actually just came out uh, just yesterday as of the uh, day I'm recording this episode, which is June 15th. I actually have not seen it yet either, but I do want to. I don't think I ever saw the first one. I'm hopeful that this game goes better than the last game we played. I lost my one mini game. Oh yeah, I remember that. Well, for me, I'm just hoping I have uh, some good fortune uh, upon this. Uh, in this, um, yeah, there was another uh, game of this that I filmed uh, last night, that's for something different, but since uh, that particular game is not aired yet, I am not going to disclose those results. Yeah. Well, well, Daniel obviously already knows what the result was, but for those of you watching on YouTube, you're going to have to wait until that particular game does get uploaded so that you'll know the result. Alright. not want it to be for the item space. I'll take the skeleton key. Yeah. Which one did you not want it to be for the item space? I didn't want the roulette game because I never win anything in that. Ah. Or I get like a first dice. Or, as I call it, the wheel of items.
Alright. Hmm. Alright, well, since uh, the shopping bonus could possibly pop up in this, since it's random bonuses, I will go ahead and start my shopping with a double dice. And we are starting with Roll Call. Ooh, a team mini game. Alright, let's see. Okay, yeah. Well, we all have the same answer. Yeah, we're all going to win because we all have the same answer. Which is the correct answer. So, everyone has 20 coins except me since I bought an item, but it's still very early. Well, you are in position to get it, and he got it. Early for the Yoshter. Only took till turn two. And then uh, there was some other uh, big news that happened a few days ago where uh, one uh, very prominent leaker on Twitter ended up not being who they claimed to be. I'm not really going to go into any more specifics than that since uh, it's kind of a bit of a, well, it might be a bit sensitive. Daniel, though, over here, can get an item. I hope if you get something good, yeah. Well, you got the barrel one. So, a lot of uh, what I've seen on the family boards earlier today, as well as other online sources, point at uh, this upcoming Tuesday being the date of uh, the Nintendo Direct. And if that's the case, it'll probably be in the morning, and that actually would not be convenient for me, because I would be in the process of commuting to work at that point. But... But that's what video on demand is for, so I can always just watch it when I get home. releases on the Switch, and I don't think they're going to want to have it the same week as a major release. Yeah, because if a 
Although if they were to do it that week, it would likely be on the 25th, which again would be a problem because one, uh, that's when Le Le that's when Luigi's Mansion 2 comes out of Switch, like I said. Two, that's also the release date for the new Monkey Ball game. Get the new uh, Super Monkey Ball game. This one is only going to be available on the Switch. Well, the other mon uh, the last Monkey Ball game that uh, came out, I forget what it's called, but I remember that one was available on all platforms. This new one, though, is is a Switch exclusive. So I'm thinking. Nintendo might have paid Sega for uh, console exclusivity on this one. Okay. Yeah, from what I remember that one was available on Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. But this new one is only on Switch. Fair enough. Alright, let's see what Luke does. A nine, okay. Not gonna change it. taping this on Father's Day weekend, so, and uh, as I mentioned on the uh, daytime meal episode that uh, just uh, recently went up, a big uh, a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there that might be watching this. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that the number of episodes I'm going to end up having for my Thousand Year Door playthrough is probably going to 
is likely going to surpass that of uh, Origami King when I did a Let's Play of uh, that game uh, in the second half of 2020. Time for a Pokemon battle, and it's ten coins each. Oh, by the way, I heard some other uh, non-related news not too long ago that uh, the Pokemon Direct Junior is retiring after this year. Ah, and Rapid River Race is our battle game. Points. 